night, a Bay Area high school teacher accused of touching students inappropriately and making sexual comments. Now parents are demanding to know why does he still have a job. Hello and welcome. I'm Veronica De La Cruz. Let's get you right tonight. It's Katie Nielsen, who's live at Piedmont High School, where parents have been wanting answers. Katie? Veronica, that's right. The school board meeting here in Piedmont tonight was packed as parents demanded to know why a teacher accused of inappropriate conduct with students is still in the classroom. I believe this board has made an egregious error in allowing Mr. Coward back into the classroom, and I think you should all reconsider the decision you made. Thank you. Wearing pink and holding signs with the hashtag MeToo, the crowd cheered on Lisa Sherman. Her daughter Natalie is one of four female students who came forward in August, accusing Piedmont High's European history teacher, Mark Coward, of acting inappropriately with them and other students. The district should not allow a predatory teacher who has sexually solicited, harassed, and intimidated his students to remain at the high school. Or perhaps we should just invite and welcome the former mayor. <laughs> the school board sent a letter to parents yesterday summarizing its investigation. They found Coward touched students inappropriately, sent inappropriate text messages, drank alcohol in front of students, and asked students sexual questions and made sexual comments. What most students saw was that an investigation happened and it must have cleared Mr. Coward since he was welcomed back into the classroom. The board said while he acted inappropriately, his behavior wasn't criminal, and that's why he was allowed back into the classroom just three weeks after students first came forward. Uh, this teacher's conduct was uh, unprofessional, inappropriate, and we took steps to mitigate um, that conduct. But parents say it's outrageous this teacher still has a job. As a board, I would ask that you examine your policy and set the bar higher. The Piedmont needs to step up, follow through, and support its students first and foremost. And I trust that that's your goal. Now, the school board president said she will be addressing this issue at another school board meeting coming up in the future during a closed session. She said they are not able to discuss this publicly because they consider it a private personnel issue. On the Night Beat, I'm Katie Nielsen.